Hey everybody, hope all is well with everyone. I wanted to make this video because um, as much as Oculus Go is an incredible tool, I really enjoy it on its own merits for what it is. Uh, I really, as a 3D enthusiast, found it to be very lacking and any of the ways that you could view uh, three-dimensional photographs, side-by-side -side photographs, was very cumbersome and uh, just didn't seem to be a good experience. And as much as I was looking for the Holy Grail best experience, I kind of gave up about a month ago, um, finding that looking through more traditional ways, uh, you know, owl viewer, um, cross view to be more satisfying and it was unfortunate there was the program Pegasus which I, I thought did a good job but again it was it was way too much work to do over the course of the last few days I got back into it and started messing with some of the settings in Pegasus and found that you could tweak to become an extremely satisfying 3D experience, um, more so than, than most other ways of viewing 3D side-by-side -side photos. So I want to share with you what I believe to be a reason to purchase the Oculus Go specifically for viewing stereoscopic photographs. Um, and so I've done a, a 180 instead of uh, getting the Oculus Go and kind of seeing if it would do stereo photography any justice. I, I think now with this uh, information I'm about to share with you is it actually a reason for those of you who might not be into all about VR and Oculus and everything if you're just stereo enthusiasts this might actually be a reason for you to spend the 199 on the Oculus Go. It does use the Pegasus program, which at this point is still by far the best way to view stereoscopic photographs. If you saw my last video on Pegasus, I was critical of the fact that the settings didn't seem to stick. So for instance, if I put a side-by-side -side photograph like this into Pegasus, um, you're, you're able to put it in, but then you have to change the, the viewing settings. You have the opportunity, and I'll show you um, hopefully in a following video through, through in a walkthrough, but you have the opportunity to change it to 3D side by side. The problem was it would keep going back. After you manually set it to view the pictures in your directory, 3D side by side, it would go back, and it was highly annoying. Uh, anyway, reached out on Reddit um, to some people today and found out that uh, it's right there in the frequently asked questions on Pegasus, um, that if you put in the normal naming conventions like you have to do, uh, I had to do it on Little Star for um, PSVR, but you can put in naming conventions inside the file name and it would go ahead and automatically read it. I didn't think you would have to do that based upon the fact that you could go into the Pegasus program, choose the setting, and no matter what picture it was, you would you would figure the setting would stay. Um, spoke to uh, the development there today. And they were extremely helpful, very, very responsive on Reddit. Um, the name escapes me right now of the developer, but um, I'll put it in the, uh, in the information. And uh, he said to you know, change the naming convention. Well, being someone who's never changed a lot of names at one time, I figured that was going to be very, very time consuming and cumbersome. Come to find out, it's very, very easy to do uh, on a Mac and on a Windows. I'm sure the Windows version is much easier to do, but even on the Mac, it's quite easy. So I'm going to show you if you were to go into a directory. So the thing about Pegasus is it will stream the Plex server. So 
if you are if you have a library you can go into Plex and choose the library that you would like Plex to stream. So let me give you an indication here. So Plex is a DLNA server and I've chosen what libraries I want it to stream. In this particular situation Plex is streaming SBS Parallel Photos to the Oculus Go. So all of these, I believe, 951 pictures that I have that are side by side are now available in my Oculus Go through the Pegasus program being streamed through my computer. What I basically mean is it's not being stored locally on the Oculus Go. All of these pictures are in my computer being streamed to Oculus Go, and it's very fast. Pegasus uses this particular program very well. So, how does it go ahead and read it as 3D? It reads it by naming convention. So we're going to go back. Here's an example folder that I made. Now assume that you have Plex read this folder. So what you would do if you wanted to take regular photos that didn't have any 3D naming conventions, you would just go ahead and choose them. This is just an example on Mac. And you'd right click and you would go to rename two items. Now, you have the choice when you do rename on Mac to go ahead and add text, replace text, or format. Very simply, for doing what we need to do here, you want to add text. You want to add the tag underscore 3DHF to whatever side-by-side -side photos that are in your directory that you're going to stream from Plex to Pegasus on Oculus Go. So watch what happens to the file names here to the left when I go ahead and hit rename. Okay, so the underscore 3DHF was just added. So what did this do? And you can see library scan complete. This is my Plex server just read any changes that was done in my library. What it just did was it told the Pegasus program, regardless of what's put in manually on the go inside the program, to read this as a stereo photo and to turn it into a three-dimensional photo in the viewer. This has changed everything because with literally three mouse clicks, I've changed close to a thousand photos that were sitting there um, having to be manipulated one by one, uh, they're all viewable and they're all perfect. And um, the resolution for what it is, is incredible. The pictures, the combination, the way that the software combines the two views is really stunning. The developers have done a really great job with this program. It's now extremely satisfying to use. and. Uh, this might have been confusing, but I just wanted anybody out there in our community that is wondering if virtual reality, the way that things are going with virtual reality, if it still will have a place for what we like most as people who are into, I guess, more purist with the stereoscopy as opposed to all the other bells and whistles that VR brings along with it. Um, there's really a wonderful program and a wonderful way to view any picture that's uh, side by side. Uh, furthermore, the Pegasus program also does uh, above below, of which I have none, and I know that it does um, 3D movies as well. I tend to just enjoy 3D movies on on the YouTube app in Oculus Go, which is able to, you know, show them in 3D. Uh, I don't keep any local. 3D movies, but um, I have take, I take obviously tons and tons and tons of stereo photos, and I also enjoy collecting them from the web and um, downloading them from Facebook groups. And viewing them inside Oculus Go now is not just, wow, I wonder if Oculus Go can do it. It is, 
Oculus Go is a magnificent way to view stereo photos. So if you have any questions or you're interested or um, you'd like some guidance in, in how to do this, it's really nowhere near as complicated as it might sound. Um, if you point and click around inside of Pegasus program, uh, oh, and by the way, it has to be the paid program, but if you point and click around inside it, um, you'll get used to it real quick. Most important thing, and the reason I made the update, is because Mac, and I believe it started with Yosemite, Mac has that very simple right-click, rename, and you have the ability to add text, and I just did it with two here, but I did it with, on here, 951, or however many are in here with the one click of a button. I was not going to go through and change the names of all of these stereo photos, but you know, literally one click of a button did it. When I take stereo photos, I put them in this, uh, I take them with the W3, Fuji W3, I put it inside this uh, directory, and this directory streams to Plex and is renamed, the library is renamed SPS Parallel Photos. So this is my file where all of those 951 photos are kept. Again, if you are interested in doing this, um, once you're shown, it's a very quick process. Feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to help anyone along. Thanks.